thought you were Bell Snickle. <laughs> Bell Snickle. Why, he's nothing but a heathen. <laughs> and, and, and what uh, brings you out on this fine night, sir? Well, Mrs. Tibble requires uh, a purchase from you, but I, I told her that uh, you probably would not be open this late. Uh, you just never open this late at <laughs> Christmas time. Uh, but then I saw these revelers, uh, these Christmas revelers coming up the path. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, Dr. Tibble, these are not revelers, these are our neighbors. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> well, yeah, I, I would deny that. I, it's quite clear that at least some of them are revelers. <laughs> some of the, shall I call them ladies? Uh, some of the women are dressed like men. <laughs> and, uh, you men, have you been drinking? <laughs> <laughs> A liar, too, you see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, really, I, I think you can see, but these are our neighbors. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen of the Wheatfield Mission Society, are you not? Yes. 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 <laughs> come to come to take my Christmas donation, sir, for the poor Wheatfield families and soldiers. Christmas. My Christmas is nothing but a, a pagan holiday, thinly disguised as Christianity uh, under a certain veneer of uh, holiday spirit, I suppose. Well, I, I would say that in the 12 days before Christmas, there is more offense given to the name of our Lord than in the well, entire 12 months before that. Hmm. Well, uh, sir, I think if you Hang look it. closely here at these fine folks, you will not see a, a drunkard, a glutton amongst them, sir. Well, well, it sounds like they have a spirit of some sort. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I would add that uh, there is no other holiday in this country where the sacred and profane are more strongly mixed than there is at Christmas. And uh, for those of you that celebrate Christmas on December 25th, well, I beg to tell you that you will not find it in the scripture. No, not in all of the Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, yes, John the Beloved does not even mention it. And would you not think that if our Lord had intended us to celebrate a Christmas, to celebrate his birthday on a particular day, that he would have shown us a little more precisely? Ah, Dr. Dibbles, <clears throat> I imagine these good folks would agree that our Protestant faith does not, uh, it, it does not allow us that many religious holidays. Let us have our holiday. Let us, let us have it. It's not a religious holiday, but a, but a national holiday. Let us take the customs of the many nations, the Germans, the Irish, the, the English, and, and let us create a new Christmas, one that both North and South can, can celebrate as Americans. Such a holiday would, would contribute to a healthy growth of patriotism, sir. Let me see. Do I understand you to suggest that... Uh, we would not be in this 